Yeah. Hey, what's going on, guys? It is OGC here. Welcome to today's live stream. Uh, Jessica Chan, first person here. Uh, congratulations. Welcome, Je Jessica Chan. We also have uh, Verma, who said that they are first. <laughs> Hi, Verma. Nice to see you, man. Uh, the Strange One is here. Um, uh, August is here. We also have uh, Mind Xavier saying yo, so yo, what's up? Uh, Stephen Ford is here, so hello, Stephen Ford. It's nice to see you. Uh, welcome. Uh, it's your first live stream. Welcome, welcome. I, I, I hope you enjoy. We're going to uh, go get our butt kicked in the dual tower for a little, little bit. We also have uh, VIP codes courtesy of uh, Tristan and Basic uh, for today, so there should be plenty of v VIP codes for the people that are not quite uh, VIP tier yet to get the uh, free codes. I have my, my coffee so we can wake up and do this. I have a late night, um, sometimes uh, the game is more like uh, drama TV and I just, it was like a bad car accident and I just could not look away last night. So needless to say, I stayed up way too late. So all that said, let's go jump into Dual Tower. Uh, let, let's do a couple fights and uh, See if what we're using is working. Ooh, look at all these points. I, I had to uh, reinstall the game. So if you guys are having chat issues with the game at this point in time, <clears throat> what I highly recommend doing is make sure your account is linked and then um, go and uninstall the game, then reinstall the game, but you have to make sure your account is linked beforehand. Uh, so first fight of the day, we're going up against a... Uh, Oh, we, we just got a uh, subscriber, so th thank you for, for sh subscribing. Um, we, we, uh, I lost my chain of, of thought. I, I got so excited with the subscribers, so, um, there we go. Alright, so, here we go. We're going to go up against this, uh, list player. Let a hundred flowers bloom! Oh, so, yeah, if, uh, if you're chat is still acting up uh, make sure your account's linked and then just go and um uninstall reinstall it it should work um it worked it worked for me and it worked out really well so uh hopefully it works for for you guys but the biggest thing is just make sure that your account is linked because you do not want to uh you do not want to uh miss out on anything also if the game audio is too loud please let me know uh, so i i can adjust it um, anyways, we are going up against a, uh, a, a Lich player. This guy's right around our core power, so hopefully we do okay going up against them. We got, uh, we got the two stats we wanted. They got the two stats. Oh, they, they, they got a castle level up on us. All right. All right, this, this should be, uh, this should be pretty interesting. Oh, geez, All right, so my fingers are way off board for today. Go now, my precious one. Go now, my All right, so precious one. Hopefully, hopefully we, we can do Name okay go, going up against Die. these guys. We had a bit of a rocky start. Um, my, my fingers are just working on uh, working with the hunter. We just put the egg on our chest. 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 Uh, and, and they're also uh, hitting our dragon, so we want to be able to uh, just know the arguments to the support of the world because Nora uh, was out of uh, health uh, or out of ammo. Luckily, our dragon's going up, so we should be able to uh, hopefully keep this person down. Uh, we just helped one of the uh, one of the major bots. Luckily, their dragon is dropping down. Our dragon seems like he's fine. Our magic. Uh, he has the undying vengeance or whatever. So our dragon, uh, our magic is tied up a little bit. Uh, so we should be completely fine going up against this guy. So I did switch back to Max in case I missed anything. And um, going back to uh, going back to uh, going back to uh, going back to uh, all right, there we go. It, it, is, is that better, my, my Xavier, with, with the uh, game audio? Alright, loud sound. Loud sound. So, uh, let me know if this is a better volume portion for the game game volume. I, I turned it down uh, a, a bit, so hopefully this is uh, this is better. 
and Tiago is here. Hello, Tiago. All right, so my, my and Xavier said that it, the audio is uh, better now. Um, is that the new Bowser set I hear? Yes. So we we do have the new uh, the, the new Bowserix. I'm always on the winning side. Oh, the little game audio. I I really never hear this stuff. So um, we're going to go collect some stuff. Uh, so I think. Um, that guy was a castle level higher than us, but I think uh, I think our dragon did good, and I switched back to the max uh, instead of miners because I, I can do the uh, I, I had shocker reset, and I went back to max because one of the benefits of dwarf is you really only have to focus on two different troop types. Uh, so I went with the miners because I wanted to go lich. That didn't work out. Um, Anyways, I do think that uh, mechs are better for the majority of players. Alright, so we're going up against a Dwarf player. Um, dwarf got a little bit tricky. There's a lot of people that are not using Turtles now. Uh, so I might have to switch mine up. And uh, I do have another formation in case that is, uh, that is the situation for us. So, we should have a decent little boost in this top side. Uh... And we're going to try to get some more things popping. So, so far, so good. We're going to duplicate some troops because uh, everything that we do, we want to be able to blast through this enemy faster than they can blast through us. So far, it's look looking pretty good. And... Bottom side, we're, we're holding on pretty well. Uh, top side, they, they mostly just have, have a bunch of mechs that, that are in us that I, I really don't like. Um, I don't know where our Badrix is, but hopefully our Badrix stays up. We lost our, our Ophidius, uh, so that, that's not good. Uh, hopefully we, we can take down the, their Ophidius. All right, so their mechs on their top side were, were actually able to slow us down by quite a bit. All right, so we might be out of gas going, going up against this guy. Uh, it looks like uh, between their twisting thorns trying to contain us. So this guy actually did did really good. I, I think having... Um, I, think, I think I might have to get rid of the turtle. Really hard to, to do, but I might have to get rid, rid of the turtle. Uh, so, uh, Sky asks, you get Nora at stage 80. Um, I think it's, I think it's around there. I, I, I think it is right, right around, um, 880. Okay, so that guy had 5 and 3. Alright, well, let, let's go try this, uh, actually, let's get rid of that. And, do we do that? No, we're going to keep, uh, that set up the same. All right, so let's jump in. Let's try this without uh, w without um, having our uh, turtle out there going up against the dwarf. And Tiago is b beside us in in the wor the world map, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, Venkat said hi. So hello, Venkat. N nice to see you. And Nora, uh, actually, I think Nora is stage sixty in the void because I have Nora uh, on my ult, but. The, my ult is not at 80 yet. Okay, Alright guys, so here we go. We're going to try a turtle list formation. Um, and we'll see how the, this one goes for us. One of the reasons why I, I really struggle with this is because the Ophidius is kind of uh, on, on the power side. And if the power side collapses, then all of a sudden... Uh, our, our Ophidius is going to collapse as well. Um, so we'll, we'll see how this goes. We have no turtles, but we should still have... Uh, oh, so it, it is at 80. I, I thought Nora, for some reason, was, was 60. It's been a while, um, but my ult was able to uh, get it. Okay, so Nora is 80 with uh, 3,500 adamantium. All right, so here we go. We're going to try and sum them up on this uh, top side as much as possible. Ooh, but but we can't. We can't. 
our, our ICS got stunned right at the start. We're able to just literally take down their dragon, so that, that's a huge advantage to us. Um, we might not uh, even be able to do the Rhyxius at all, but we are going to jump in with the, the Rufio, and that should uh, that should end end everything for the snipers in that top portion, and then we're we're totally fine. Um, so we're just going to do the spray and pray, so hopefully we can take out the, the backline heroes uh, and and not worry about giving up anything. This is a pretty pretty wild for formation. Um, so, I don't know. My, my only concern with it is that the Ophidius is on the side and not towards the middle. Yeah, so so with with the, the Raxius, uh, I wonder if I can do this real, real quick with, with you guys. Um, I, I'm going I'm to switch to my ult real quick. Because my ult does not have Raxius, uh, so uh, sorry, I, I just want to grab all the goodies while, while we're here. Uh, so my ult has my ult has Nora, um, but he, I do not have uh, Raxius. And if I look at the void, uh, we are we've cleared out a few sections. I don't think I'm at uh, void eighty yet. Uh, let, let's find out. So, I think if if we look at the the rewards, that's sixty. Okay, yeah. So it should be. I I think you guys are right. I think um, it's Void Sage eighty. It's Void Sage eighty that you get uh, Nora, and then Void Sage one hundred that that you get Raxius. Oh, is he sixty? Maybe he's at 60. I have no idea. It's been way, way too long. But yeah, no, Nora is def definitely 80 because on that 80 portion, I, I remember get, getting Nora at that point for, for my ult account. Although, I, it, if, uh, if Raxius was available at 60, I, I should have I bought him on, on my ult account. Because I, I, I was buying all of the... Uh, all of the stuff so maybe he's there and I, I just need to go and purchase him so th thank you guys and now, now I can go get another hero on my ult account all right so we're going up against a, uh, a lich player so we're, we're going to run the the same type of formation going going up against uh, this guy And hopefully we can do the same thing where our uh, where our dragon we we can keep alive because that's going to be everything. Gotcha. So Raxus is twenty five hundred k or twenty five hundred uh, of all of that juicy stuff. All right. So it looks like this guy's got a bunch of salt stuff up in this top side. Uh, so we're going to try to get in there and uh, mess up his uh, Warlocks. That way his Warlocks can't kill off all of our stuff. We did a ton of damage to, to his Warlocks. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm honestly pretty, pretty happy with that. Next, we're, we're going to get our uh, Denji spinning. Uh, that way hopefully we can clear everything out and make it fully deep in onto his, uh, his uh, Warlocks. And it looks like everything's kind of sort of getting sunned up quite a bit. So we're gonna try and duplicate some troops. Uh, that way we have more more snipers. Um, they are doing a good amount of damage to us uh, in this bo bottom side. So they have their Badrix up. We do not have our, our Badrix up. So they are going to be able to do a ton of damage to our dragon and everything. So I think this guy is ultimately going to, to get us. Yeah, he, he's coming out with another Badrix. We're gonna lose out on all of our DPS. So this guy did pretty good with uh, with uh, put, putting that that saw side right right up uh, right on up. Um, I, I want to reload. There we go. This guy did really good with uh, the saw side in front of the dragon uh, for the, for their dragon. I think we will have to focus more on taking out the the mid of, of this player in order to uh, in order to get them next time. I mean, we still have plenty of mechs up, but uh, I. I 
I don't have the Ophidius. If I had the Ophidius, then I could just keep taking down their backline heroes um, as they go up against like a wall of mechs. Oh, so Sky said that they don't usually make the live streams. This is their second one. I'm glad that you're here, Sky. That, that, that's awesome. We'll hang out, we'll have some fun, and uh, yeah, you know, well, why, why not? Celebrate Independence Day with with, uh, with having some some fun in in the game. Do you, do you guys play with the sound on in the game? I, I don't know about you guys, but it just sounds like a, a wind tunnel from from the game. <laughs> it, it's, it's definitely a, a very weird sound. Alright, so we, we got our bell kicked, now uh, now on to the next fight. Lich can definitely get pre pretty tricky. And where are we with everything? So we're 23rd in, in the, the dual tower. I think if we look overall for our server, we're ranked 27. So we're still doing fine in, in, in my opinion. As long as we stay above rank 27 or at 27, then I'm, I'm pretty happy with everything overall. So the strange one says that they play without sound. I I can relate to that. Um, I think this is one of the few times. I think it's during streams that sometimes I, I turn on the uh, game music and stuff. And uh, yeah, that that's the only time I hear stuff from from the game. So this looks like a different Lich player. So we'll we'll try going up uh, up against them with uh, with the formation from previous. Uh, and Sky says that they like having the sound on, so uh, every everyone ha has their own unique way. <coughs> All right, so this guy has got a bunch of uh, a bunch of stuff out here. Oh, jeez. Oh my god, I'm just butchering everything. All right, so don't start off face like I just did. Uh, that was so much blunder. Um, alright, so, now that we got that down, oh man, he's still tied up. Alright, so, they have their Rufio spinning in our backline, which is actually super annoying. Uh, but, I think we can finally do our Raxius nice and deep, um, to slow them down just a little bit. And finally, we're, we're going to drop one more there. So hopefully our Nora and, and everything can just take out all the, the Warlocks towards the back here. So now we also have a... Uh, we have a pretty good... Um, we have a pretty good uh, earth, Earthquake down on them. We need to try and keep our the, both the Dragon up and as many of the Snipers as possible up as, as we can. The dragon moved up a little too far forwards for for me, so hopefully, uh, hopefully we're we're able to take down uh, all of their warlocks before they they just like completely unload on us again. Because our, our dragon doesn't doesn't have too much left left in, in the tank as far as like health. Uh, so we do have a nice Nora coming in, which uh, should be able to take out a bunch of stuff in in the back. Um, looks like we are down a bunch of uh, all, all of our snipers so this is pretty much just going to be um, our Nora going up, up against their, their dragon and I believe that is uh, we got our Belrog up there tanking as well if our Jax can just like switch and like shoot their dragon that that would be huge they have a ton of warlocks so I think if I didn't just total bl blunder it, blunder it at the beginning, um, if I just went straight into Denji, I think I would have done so much better. So their their, their dragon is healing up. Um, unfortunately, I, I think uh, I think that they definitely have us. So uh, good fight to this guy. They they did absolutely fantastic. Oh, so revenge also plays with the sound on. Interesting. Awesome. Alright, so they finally got us. Uh, they took down our stuff uh, with, with the dragon. Now they're just going to slowly come around. Um, I don't think we'll be able to time out the fight. Um, 
but I mean, it, it's going to take them forever to kill off all of our sub. Our, our mechs, since we only have to focus on two things now, our mechs are super tanky, which is uh, pretty awesome to say the least. So now there are dragons coming down. Uh, just the magic swells to, to reduce the uh, magic resistance of everything should be enough to let the warlocks just take down the, the mechs. You can see everything dropping. I think they're going to get it right before the, the end. Um, they're now down on the second pack. So now that the dragon's close enough, that they're just going to keep dropping the magic resistance of everything. So they, they did pretty good. Uh, really impressed with some, some of the Lich players so far. Lich is still a super viable race. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty wild. Yeah, and Stephen Ford said the joy of fighting Lich. I, I agree. Lich is uh, Lich can be pretty pretty interesting. So if you can't just uh, collapse that that one side, then they will uh, they will sell out. And if they sell out, then they're going to be able to uh, do so much damage over time. They want to sell everything out as long as possible. And if they can, it it just gets worse and worse as the fight goes on. Because the warlocks do so much damage as long as they stay alive and they're able to to attack. Skydog said, "Watch it be timed out." Oh man, I I, I wish it was. It's all good though. It, it's all good. My um my my ability to gain points in dual tower during during live streams is very bad. Um. <laughs> I, I don't do super well during the live streams. After live streams, I'll go up and, and gain a bunch of points. So, I'm Ram said uh, hi and that they lo love us. So, uh, thank you, I I'm Ram. Um, I love you guys too. Oh, jeez. That was a super fast... Uh, that was a super fast protection proc for, from the enemy. So, we, we jumped in uh, immediately with, with our Rufio. Um, probably not, not the... Ooh, we can, we can do it. Yes. So we just dropped uh, two of uh, the Raxius Sun Sound, and then we dropped the third one on ourselves. Um, that way we get a giant boost, and we're going to get our Jax going as well. Uh, they have one troop that's that's pretty deep in, inside of us. Uh, okay, they're they're dead now, uh, and now we can just run on or, on around. So. We were able to take out this guy without uh, without too much of, of an issue. We'll duplicate some uh, snipers just to speed up everything. Oh, jeez. We got the new uh, Rufio emoji, the, the dabbing Rufio. It's pretty cute. It's actually pre pretty cute. <laughs> Shairu said yes, blame the live stream. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. And we also have uh, Fairy saying hello. So hello to you, uh, Fairy. I hope that you're, you're, you're having a pretty good day. And happy 4th of July to every, everybody that celebrates uh, the 4th of July. Oh, geez, we're going up against MM Chan. Oh, my God. She's the best player in the, in the world. So I don't, think, I don't think we stand a chance going up against MM Chan. I'm just being honest with you guys. Um, we're going to eat another loss. All right, let, let, let's try it out. This is this is gonna hurt quite a bit. Even if I win, I still lose. If that makes sense. So there is no winning in this fight. Oh, jeez. Can you guys feel that? The nervousness build, building up inside, going up against your idol? Oh. Alright, how about this, guys? If we beat MM Chan, we'll do a VIP code. Alright, so we got lucky. We, we got three sats, which is uh, pr pretty cool. Um, and it looks like we are going up against um, uh, her Sol side. All right, so we're going to try try to have uh, we're we're going to have to stall her out for as long as possible. Uh, we got a nice uh, deep earthquake in on her, uh, which is uh, super good. 
Uh, looks like we're doing somewhat okay in this bottom portion. Um, if we can speed up everything, that that would be awesome. Uh, she came up against us uh, for the in inverted fight, and um, I gotta say that that's actually pr pretty smart. Uh, but it looks like we're we're doing pr pretty good in this uh, in this top side. Uh, we are, although she's doing re really good with uh, with, with uh, her bottom side. So we're going to drop down a bat splits. Uh, MM Chan also do does a bat splits. Um, so both sides doing bat splits. Okay, we lost our Badrix, which is not good. I, if MM Chan still has her Badrix, we are in for a world of pain. It's going to hurt really bad. So okay, it looks like um. It looks like we, we, we ended up doing doing okay. Uh, so she still has her Badrix up, so I don't know if she she's waiting to uh, oh no, that's not her Badrix. That's her um that that's her new hero, the uh Shizeo. Oh my god, Sky Sky went with um Sky went with MM Chan. Oh my gosh. I can't blame him. That's who I would pick as well. I thought that she she had us for for sure. Uh, I think it was a fluke, kind of like when we fought Kurd and we got uh, super lucky. Um, I think we got super lucky in that fight. Normally, uh, MM Chan flawless is us. We we don't stand a chance going up against her. All right, we got an almost six million core power uh, Lich player. <clears throat> so uh, yeah, th this this is gonna be fun. Oh, the VIP code. Okay, it it will have to be out after this fight. All right, let, let's try going up against. Uh, let's try going up against the, this lich dude um, with that same type of formation. I don't know if it will work. I, I've never done it, uh, but we're going to uh, find out. We definitely have more more snipers. Oh, Spear Wolf's here. How you doing, Spear Wolf? All right, so let's see here. That's where their Ophidius is. So we are going to do that, and then we're going to do that. Uh, they got a lot of really good black holes on us, uh, right right at the start. All right, so, so far look, look, looking pr pretty good. Um, I, I don't have any like super ma major complaints at this point in time. Uh, we are jumping in, uh, and, okay, our Denji is doing a fantastic job at stunning up the enemy. Uh, so we are going to drop some uh, Raxius stuff nice and deep on, on their Warlocks. And then we're going to put the attack speed stuff onto our Nora and everything because uh, who doesn't want that? And then we're, we're going to get our Jax doing his uh, Spray and Pray so hopefully we can take out some... Oh no. Oh no, we should have done the Origin Zone. Is it too late? Can we still do the Origin Zone? All right, we, we got the Origin Zone out. They have uh, they have their Badrix. And they just did their their, their bad tricks. So, um, I don't know, guys. This is this one is going to be super close. Uh, we're now starting to hit their dragon. Their dragon's moving up, though. Uh oh, don't take out our snipers. Kill their dragon. Oh no, they got the protection proc. They got the protection proc. Uh oh. This is uh th this is painful. This is definitely hurting. Oh, what's wrong thing? All right, so we we took down the, their uh, we took down their their Ophidius, uh, which is huge. Um, we're able to hit their dragon, so I think we'll actually be able to take out their dragon, maybe. Um, I'm I'm hoping we we got a bunch of snakes there. Oh no, our Jax stopped hitting their dragon. Jax, why would you ignore their dragon? Jax, attack their dragon. Okay, okay. We we might be We might be somewhat okay. Um so our dragon is moving down. We we have our Belrog in. So if our dragon can blow up all of this dude's warlocks, uh we'll be in good shape. But all of their warlocks are, are hitting us. That's not good. Dragon, do something! Do something! Why are you just standing there? 
There you go. Keep doing more stuff, dragon. Go, dragon. Go, dragon. Keep keep doing all those things that does damage and stuff, etc. Dragon, don't fail me now. I've never given up on you. I fed you so much. I trained my dragon. All right, cool. So I think we, we got this person. All right, so I guess going up against Lich players that are weaker than us, we are horrible. Going up against Lich players that are stronger than us, uh, we do okay. That's why core power doesn't really mean too much, guys. It's, it's all over the place. So Tiago says hello to, to Chani. Um, I mean, she she is probably the biggest celebrity. Verma is here saying you are the best, Shin. It's 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 pretty true. Um, Spirit Wolf is doing good, so I, I'm glad. And uh, Sky Dog said that uh, we're, we're doing good, better than them. Uh, no, no, I'm I'm nothing special. Uh, so where is Strapcorn? So make sure you guys mention this Strapcorn is his birthday today, and for his birthday, uh, we have. A VIP code from Tristan. So thank you to Tristan. Um, feel free to go re redeem this code. This is a VIP code. You're going to get a bunch of Lenari, possibly potions and rune stones. How it works with VIP codes is only one person can redeem a VIP code. Only one. So this is the uh, first one to do it gets all the stuff. Uh, everyone else afterwards, it will say that the code expired. Um, if you've redeemed a VIP code before, this will not work. So if you are a free-to-play player and you have never used a VIP code or this specific one, then you are in luck. Uh, none of those filthy whales can steal this code from you, which is kind of cool. Oh, no. I, I, I think I, I clicked the wrong button. Uh-oh. I think I have to restart the stream. No. Did, did I mess it all up? I think I messed it all up. Wait, can, can you guys still still see me, or, or did I totally mess up the uh, the stream? Uh oh. Oh, you, you guys can see me? Oh, perfect. Okay, so somehow I thought that I messed that all up. Okay, well, uh, cool. Let, let's uh, let, let, let's keep let's keep doing it. Um, <laughs> I I hit I hit the wrong button and I thought everything just uh, j just went away. All right, so ho hopefully uh, you guys got got that VIP code. Um, and we just hit a new threshold for us. Uh, we just got up to 3,700. I, I guess we, we haven't got, gone this high before. We're now at 19. We're rank uh, 27 as far as um, as far as like uh, our core power for the server, and we're rank 19. So let's see if we can keep this going. Uh, okay, so this is almost a 7 million uh, core power uh, dwarf player. That's uh, that's pretty wild. So this is probably going to hurt quite a bit, but let's let's go on and let's try fighting them regardless. Uh, so we'll go with uh, with the formation that we were using. Who got the uh, who got the VIP? Um, who who got the the VIP code? And Meet Rana said, uh, can you explain how to get level 16 max at, at cast level uh, 46? Um, you just have to build it. All right, so we'll, we'll try going up against this player. Okay, you got me. 
I got super excited and started hanging way too many buttons and like things changed in the background and I thought that we got disconnected. So I'm glad that we didn't. Alright, so here we go guys. Wish me luck, this guy is uh, is way stronger than us. So we're jumping in with the Rufio, I know it's kind of early for, for the Rufio. Um, Oh, Shiru got the code. Congratulations to, to Shiru. That's absolutely awesome, man. Alright, so we dropped down one Bazrix. We, uh, I'm sorry, one uh, Raxius, two Raxius, and three Raxius. Beautiful. And let's see here. So this dude's dragon is almost down, uh, which is uh, huge for us. And so we just got a protection proc. We took down this guy's dragon. Are we going to get this guy? That, that That's actually pretty wild if we are able to take down the, this dude. Oh, so they still have their badgers up. So this fight is not over. They just put the targeting down on our dragon. Um, this fight is far from over. We might lose out on the dragon. Uh, can we kill off? No, we, we just gotta keep the offense going. We gotta keep the offense going. They still have their uh, their Ophidius up. Our dragon is in super deep, but our dragon is also uh, able to do a bunch of damage to them. I did put the targeting down on Ophidius just because I don't know. Ophidius scares me, but it looks like uh, it looks like overall we we are doing uh, pr pretty pretty good. So uh, I think we're actually going to be able to to win this. This is so weird. We we go up against uh we, we go up against like the five mil people and, and we lose. Then we get like a basically a seven million uh, core power dwarf and we, we do great. This makes no sense to me. Shiru, I am super happy that you got the VIP code. That is the best. Um I I am super happy for you. Oh yeah, and it's all still working. That's awesome. All right, so we were able to uh, to, to win this fight. Um, we'll give them the, the thumbs up. Uh, they, they probably aren't super happy about it, but uh, we will take it. We're we're out of ammo, so it's just gonna take forever to actually uh, do actually like finish them off. We still have we still have some snipers, so. Between the snipers and the dragon, it's just going to take time. Actually, it might get timed out. Alright, we got a nice little moral boost from one pack of snipers. I really hope it doesn't get timed out, but that's just me being selfish and, and wanting to, to get it. All right, cool. So I think they have one partial thing of uh, of mechs left. So <clears throat> that is a huge, huge one. I'm super happy with that. That's probably going to be the highest core difference uh, win of the day. Uh, I don't think I can go above like 7 million. Like 7 million is pretty wild. That is pretty wild. Like, I'm 5,500. All right, well, let, let, let's keep going. Why, why stop here? All right, so a six mil dwarf. Jeez. So I guess this is the problem of going, going higher. Like, we're just gonna keep facing people that are stronger and stronger and stronger. Uh, all right, so, so far, all of this is working out, so uh, you know what? Why would we change it up? Let's uh, let, let's do it. <laughs> Why not? All right, so we won three stats. Uh, okay, so they, they won the magic. It doesn't look like they have any major packs of warlocks in this uh, in this top area. All right, so they do have their Ophidius there. Uh, so we're going to try to uh, we're going to try our best of like blasting through them, uh, and we're going to quickly leap our Rufio in. 
uh, just to sum up the uh, Warlocks, they're jumping theirs in, uh, which is uh, somewhat expected. And next, we're just going to uh, try to speed up everything here. So they put the targeting on the dragon. Honestly, I, I think we'll, we'll be okay with that because the black hole is, is about to come out. And we should be able to, to clop, collapse this uh, top side. Uh, they put another targeting down on, on like a, another uh, uh, thing. Um, Alright, so our Nora is doing great. Uh, we got the lightning proc super deep in on them. Uh, I think... Okay, so they, they retargeted to then hit our um, Avalon. Wait, which is pr pretty confusing to me, but you know, may maybe this is like next level strats. Who, who am I to, to judge? Uh, so we are missing a, a bunch of stuff. Um, and our dragon is moving in. All right, good. So we should be able to take down their, their Ophidius. Our Nora is just going ham on, on their o Ophidius. Um, hopefully we can just uh, fin finish off their Ophidius ASAP. And then we want to take out their, their dragon. Uh, so as soon as their Nora dies, uh, we're going to get that targeting down onto their dragon. Uh, so hopefully Nora and, and everything else can just take out their, their dragon. We're doing pretty well tanking on this bottom portion. Um, so far so good. But until we take out this uh, th this dragon, uh, it's still going to be uh, very, very sketchy. And even when we take out this dragon, we, we have a lot of stuff that we actually have to kill off. Oh, what am I doing? I see what we need to do. Well, we still have a couple uh, snipers live down in this bottom portion. We just need to get as many more as possible. Their dragon is very slowly going down. I think this is going to end up being a timeout, unfortunately. It's a very silly timeout, but I think it's going to end up being a timeout because there's 37 seconds left. There's a lot of warlocks that, that we'll have to clear out. Um, yeah, un unfortunately, I think that this is just going to end up being a time thing. So they have a targeting down on our Nora, which, I mean, it, it is what, what it is. Uh, so it looks like they killed a mech, so we, we got the external void there. Uh, we'll keep uh, playing around with our um, with our Lunella. So I think it's a timeout. We, we would have won this one, too. So Skydog said, Does, doesn't Tane have 7 mil or 8 mil? Uh, yes. Ye yes, he does. I want to see if we can get our dragon in super deep on them. Oh yeah, keep moving forwards, dragon. Come on, dragon, keep moving forwards. You got 10 seconds. Keep going forwards. Yes, yes, yes. There you go. There you go. All right, I need another blast real, real quick. One more. One more. All right, I think we might actually have this. Oh no, they, they have this one dude down here that when he... Yes, they got that one dude. Oh my god. That one dude that just had the... Oh. We're that close to the, to the win. I'm still counting that as a win because we won. It just got timed out. Jeez. So yes, Tane is... Uh, he's, he's above 7 million core. Uh, he is very, very strong. Um, I'm pretty sure... He can flawless me without too many issues. Um, it's pretty wild to say the least. And, all right, cool. So we got this thing here. And. All right, so we're going up against another Lich. Uh, this Lich is right around the, the same power as us. Oh, so Steven said that he's jealous. He can't do the tower right now because his daughter just ran off with this tablet. Oh, man. Um, well, she, maybe she can do the tower for you. All right, so we're going up against the Lich player who's right around our, our level. Um, all right, so... 
We're, we are going to do our best going up against this dude. Oh, okay, so he was able to get the Raxius Sun Town before us, uh, which is going to be uh, kind of a big inconvenience to us, uh, just because it's going to slow us down. So now we can do our, our Raxius Suns to them. And we're going to speed up all of our backline stuff. Uh, the next thing is we're going to spin our Rufio over. So that we can hopefully stun up all of their stuff. Ooh, the protection proc. I think that they're going to get our dragon way too early. They are going to get our dragon way, way too early. We got the origin stone and the, the black hole just came out. But I, I think uh, they have too many warlocks that are still attacking. Ooh, we got the ba Bazrax. Can we get that up? No! They got our dragon! Alright, so that's uh, that, That's really, really going to hurt us um, overall. Oh, jeez. Alright, we just lost him. I think this guy got us. We weren't able to keep our dragon protected long enough. Um, so unfortunately, uh, I don't think we'll be able to necessarily come back from, from that. We're not going to give up though. We still have, a, we, we still have Nora. Uh, if our Nora can do a bunch of stuff, but it looks like she is caught up with the Undying Vengeance um, And they just targeted our Nora, so Rip, that is everything Unfortunately, this person was able to get us It's not the end of the world. Uh, I think we, we learned a lesson with that I, I really wanted to start off with the Raxius and they got their Raxius out before us to sell up ours and I wasn't quick enough with like my backup plan as far as skills. So I did the Rufio Leap. I really should have uh, considered doing the uh, Denji Spin instead. I think that would have been more effective. So it's not the end of the world. We, we got to learn something from it. So we'll jump in and we will do another one real quick. And pardon me for one moment while this loads up. And uh, Sky said that they want to see damage for, for Nora for like the next fight. I can show you for this one. Uh, both Noras did like 60 to 70 million damage. Um, it, it's, it's pretty wild and disgusting stuff. Uh, Diago said uh, they sent an image of a Topaz Drake that might work. Um, I don't think that a Topaz is a very good dragon for right now. Uh, and the, the reason why, the, the reason why I, I don't think that they're a, a good dragon right now is because um, the buff was, it wasn't that good to them and they don't target any of the heroes really. So uh, I don't think a Topaz is, is a, uh, a, a solid overall dragon. That's just me, I, I, I could be super wrong. All right, so let's see here. We can kind of sort of get close to their archers. And we're gonna drop one more down there. All right, so far so good for, for this start. Uh, we need to sun up their archers once more. Uh, and then we're going to hopefully get our Denji going. So they got a targeting down onto our dragon, uh, which is going to hurt quite, quite a bit uh, once they actually start doing everything. Hopefully we can take the, down their Ophidius as, as well. Oh, they had the Clash of Fates set on their Avril. Really interesting. All right, so we're going to get a nice little, uh, nice little earthquake, uh, nice and deep on them. So this guy is going all with uh, CC. Um, they, they're, they're just really, really trying to CC us down. All right, so for right now, we have both uh, both Bazrax going off on, on, on one another. Uh, 
So our badger is uh, is out of the procs. Uh, I think we still have our Nora up. Uh, they are hitting our dragon. We are unfortunately out of our um, ooh nice deep blading stuff. We are unfortunately out of our uh, sorry. Really hard to talk sometimes. We are out of our origin zone. Ooh. All right, so they were able to take down our dragon and the bomb. So this like six mil core power uh, uh, human, very strong. Um, they they did they did really good. The humans are great if they can afford everything. And which one is this? All right. Uh, so Justin said only 19 hours and I finally have tier 13 gladiator, gladiator research took way too long So congratulations on on the tier 13 gladiator research. That is a massive research that should hopefully help you out quite quite a bit So I'm very happy for you Justin. Um, I, I Hope it all go, goes well for you That's just some some really cool stuff Uh, so, uh, somebody asked about the Nora damage. We can see the enemy had 107 million damage from, from their Nora. Uh, we had 35. So that, that, that's, that's pretty wild. Uh, so let, let's see if we have the, uh, Topaz thing. Um, I have no idea where, where it, it would be. Uh, oh, wait, was that it? Nope, that, that, that's an Azul. Uh, and that, that's an Onyx. Uh, yeah, so, um, Diego, I, uh, I, I have no idea where, where you sent it. I, I don't see it. Uh, so Tiago said, uh, they're asking if uh, if I should move to Lich. Um, I tried that uh, 30 days ago uh, or 25 days ago, so something like that, and it just it did not work out for me at all. So I don't think um, I don't think Lich is uh, in my wheelhouse for right now. May may maybe in the future, but for right now, uh, it's de definitely not something that uh, it is in my mind. And. Uh, Amia said that uh, Ruby does really good. Ooh, hold on. We got to focus for this one. All right, so this is power side versus power side. Go going up against MM Chan, the last person that I ever want to fight. All right, so we got a nice little protection proc out. They, they got their protection proc out as well. Uh, lots of uh, stuff happening things blowing up people doing things in places uh, we're going to try and get our earthquake nice and deep looks like she, she's doing fantastic kind of coming up coming up against us with all of this ooh okay she's doing a lot of damage to our dragon um, okay her dragon is now starting to drop she took out our, our Bazrix all right so we were able to take out her dragon I don't know how well our dragon is going to do go like continuing to go up against hers looks like we still have a tanky belrog up, up front and we still have our nora so between those two that that's actually not 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 bad um we'll do a quick little reload uh so i think we we were able to uh to get her for for this top side and then it's just a, a matter of kind of swing swing down uh oh mm chance mad at us She's mad. And yeah, for for uh, Amia, I, I agree. Ruby Dragon does does really good going up against them. And I think uh, Ruby Dragon should be getting a uh, a new buff coming up soon. We'll have more info once we get like the the official word on it all. Uh, and. Sky said uh, 107 mil damage on Nora is crazy. Absolutely. And I think if we if we look here, uh, neither of the Noras went too crazy. 
Um, but Nora in general is is just just wild. Uh, PUBG Scorpion said, "Can you send the trick to get True Ruby in Dice Event? Send it in OGC Discord, please." Uh, at some point in time, I will. Otherwise, if you go back and you watch that stream, I go over it a bunch. Um, uh, OGC girl, what, what's the trick for the? So you open up the purple chest and you want the purple chest to go amethyst, emerald, and then you switch to the red chest and you open up uh, and you'll get a true ruby, allegedly. I think it's a fluke. I don't think, I don't know. I don't know. So it's amethyst, emerald out of the purple chest and then you open up the red chest and it should be a, a, a true ruby if, uh, if, if, if you believe in that voodoo. Uh, so, uh, Tanver asked about the items that we use for, for tag. Yeah, we, we, we can go, we, we can go over that. Um, I think, I think it's just two that I have right now. I have the commander's cape and I also have the tag staff on my GAN. Uh, whoops. We're, we're going to try going, going with, uh, this one as well. All right, let's do it. Let's let's do it. Any any time, PUBG Scorpion. Ho hopefully, you get it. Yeah, I I don't know if it was a fluke or not, but it, it ended up working for us. So, I I really can't can't complain at all. All right, so we're going up against this dude. Um. We gotta cut through uh, all of his stuff in this uh, top portion. And it looks like they instantly targeted something of ours. I I, I am mildly confused by it all, but that, that that's okay with me. I can be confused, and it's not not the end of the world. All right, so they actually did a good amount of damage uh, going up against our. Um, Going up against our, uh, what was that, Gam that they killed? Ooh, their dragon moved up way too far for, for my, my liking. Oh my god. I did not play this one appropriately. I did not play this one appropriately. No. No, stop. All right, so th this one's uh, th this one is not going to go super super well. I kind of mess up with with my my play going up against this guy. Um, I got thrown off a, a little bit at the beginning, uh, but that is okay. So th this guy will end end up taking us out. So this guy said that they really like the ruby dragons. Uh, so I'm glad that you like them. They they will be getting an upcoming buff, and the buff actually looks pretty pretty good. It's going to affect uh, their main skills. The Topaz buff was, was very underwhelming. Um, I, I think we covered that in a live stream in patch notes, and I think it's underwhelming for exactly the reasons that we went over. The scales with the suns tend to only sun up. Um, okay, so Tiago's talking about the, the Topaz thing. Um, Oh, okay. So this is the, their, their Topaz Dragon that they wanted me to, to see. So the Topaz Dragon, it has the Fatal Blows, which is huge for the, the Lightning Rod, which they have both of those. Uh, they have all three of the damage skills. They ha have the Thunderclap, the Scales, and True Shot. So I don't think this is a, a bad dragon at all. Um, what, what I would... Uh, the, the things that I would change is... If this has hero pred, because hero pred will allow this to actually kill heroes if it targets heroes. But the problem with the, the topaz is the scales portion, the stun, you're pretty much just going to stun the enemy melee troops uh, for like the vast majority of the time. Uh, hero pred, of course, is huge uh, to, to have. And for the thunderclap thing, if that was cosmic storms, then that, that would be massive. So this is a super good dragon uh, for now. But uh, getting a hero pred dragon with like this level of perfectness as far as the skills would be so massive. 
I think it. I think it's going to do really well for you. And and you said that it is doing massive damage because you have the proper skills on it. It's just the last talent. If if that was swapped to human pred, it would be super super strong. And Diago says snipers uh, straight one shot heroes in my core level. That's awesome, man. That that is awesome. Um, so uh, if it's working for you, it's working for you. That is uh, that that's everything. Oh geez, Ver Verma is my replay the one where I won or lost? <laughs> Cause oh uh, man, Ho hopefully hopefully it's one that. Oh, of course it's one that we lost. How bad was it? Yeah, that, that was a pretty bad loss. All right, so uh, let's see here. Why don't we do another VIP code? This one is courtesy of uh, Basic. Uh, so this is a whoops, I totally messed that up. This is a VIP code. If you have not, I if I can get this to work and, and not not just mess it all up. There we go. So this is from Basic. Uh, VIP code is right over here. Uh, if you have not entered a VIP code yet, enter a VIP code. You can only redeem these once per account. Um, the way that you get VIP codes is by uh, getting high enough tier uh, for the Valor system. I think it's like tier 13 to 15, depends on how fast you spend the money, all that other crazy stuff. If you become a VIP member, then you will get VIP codes at least once a month, usually during major holidays. You'll also get them as well, Chinese holidays. Um, if you are a free to play player or you have not redeemed the VIP code, you can redeem this VIP code. However, VIP codes can only be redeemed by one individual. So not everybody can get it. It's a one time uh, thing. So whoever gets it will get it. Um, now those filthy evil pay to win whales cannot steal this code from you, uh, which is beautiful. This code is only usable by people that have not used this. So those filthy evil pay to win whales uh, would have already had their own VIP codes. So hopefully this works out for you. Big shout out to uh, basic for, uh, for helping us out and uh, sending us the, the VIP codes. Um, we appreciate it quite, quite a bit. Somebody's asking me to take off my hat. The, the problem is I, I turn all sorts of crazy colors w without it. Uh, but get that beautiful, beautiful hair. I just turn purple without my hat on. I, I don't really want to be purple. Uh, so somebody asked about the tag stuff. So I have, um, I think it's on GAN. I have the tag staff on GAN. <laughs> The tag staff will actually really help. Oh, and if you guys get the VIP gold, let me know in the chat because I, I want to be super happy for you. Uh, the tag staff, it allows you to to tag. So I have that on uh, GAN, uh, which if I don't use it right at the beginning, then uh, that causes me some issues. As far as the other tag that I have, uh, it is on Gafgar. Interesting. wonder why I put it on Gafgar. And it's just the commander's cape. I put this at one star because... I really don't think it's worth it to, to bring this up um, unless you're a mega super well and you need stats. So those are the two tag uh, things that I have for for my basic PvP formation. Oh, so somebody said nice. Yeah, I, I have awesome hair. I just I've tried so many things with the lighting and stuff, and it just it it works out where if I wear a hat, everything works out better. And it also helps if I wear black. If I wear something that's not black, it really makes, uh, it, it does funky things to like my, my skin color. So uh, if you guys are curious why I typically wear similar things, it's because I need black and I need a hat. Uh, so more often than not, I just throw on the sweatshirt because uh, Boston Bruins colors um, is usually black uh <laughs> and speaking of the boston bruins let's go boston i mean the boston tea party all the all of that other beautiful rich history without boston there would not be in america so let's go fourth of july um best place uh is boston not that i'm biased or anything i'm totally not biased <laughs> all right so uh oof, got that on on the wrong one Sager asks to show Kurt versus 0, zero PvP. Uh, if you want to watch a giant core power difference by millions of core power, sure. Um, otherwise, uh, th there's, n there's no point. It would be like me attacking a 1 million core power account. It's just, it's silly. Anyways, we're going up against our Crying Nuts. Um, I think we can start off with our Raxias because their Rufio is placed. Yes, we can. 
Yes, we can. All right. And they start off with their with their Denji, which I'm totally fine with. So we're going to get a nice little little boost up there. Crying Nuts was able to get a solid uh, a solid moral boost, and they also just jumped in with their Rufio. We went in with our Rufio. There's lots of suns. We got a nice volley in deep, um, which is huge. Uh, we were able to drop the, the Gan. Uh, I, I now see where his Ophidius is. So we can drop ours in uh, super deep there as well. And we're going to get our Dragon in the Spray and Pray. Hopefully we're able to take out some stuff. We did not have the Origin Stone. Our Dragon is starting to get super low. Stress is happening. Who is going to get this? Uh, we're going to duplicate some stuff. We're going to drop the Bastilis down. Uh, crying Nuts drops down there. Bastilis, our dude just died. No. And our dragon died. Uh, no, no, no again. I can't target their, their dragon. There's too many things nearby his dragon. Alright, so Crying Nuts, it looks like, is going to get us. Uh, so good fight to, uh, good fight to Crying Nuts. Maybe we gotta do the inverted. Steven Ford said, get a tan? Oh my god, I have a wonderful tan. I, I, I can't really highlight it here. Um, and... Uh, Shiru said, no, without uh, King George mental problems, there would never have been America. <laughs> touche, touche, but luckily everything worked out very well. And David Z said Blood Moon wins. Uh, yeah, actually, we, you are completely correct. Uh, Blood Moon beat Blood Moon. Uh, so we're going up against this. So this guy is, he's not quite 1 million core higher than us, but he's definitely pretty close to 1 million core power higher than us. Uh, scary stuff. Scary stuff. Being this high up in the, in the tower is a scary place. There are just like mega whales all over the place. Oh, this is killer. Oh, cool. Uh, so we, we, we know this individual, so we're going to go in and we're going to do our best. We should be able to start off with uh, Araxius because of the positioning of, of their Rufio, uh, but for whatever reason, we, we cannot. So we're jumping in with, uh, with our Rufio, and uh, hopefully our Rufio uh, pops off and does a good amount of uh, damage right at the start. Uh, hopefully our Araxius comes off of cooldown in the second, uh, and he does not, so we're going to drop in a nice deep uh, Earthquake. Hopefully that slows them down a little bit, and hopefully our Araxius does not just instantly die. So it looks like we're, we should be able to swing on up and take down um, Killer, uh, which, which is uh, obviously very very nice for, for us. And uh, enemy is now putting out an Earthquake, uh, but we should be able to get this without any real issues at, at this point in time. We have our Jax like unloading on their, their back line, our dragons move back there, so uh, 6400k core power, uh, we were able to, to get them. Uh, so, WKD said, what do you think about the Sylph race? OGC seems like a dying race now, Sniper do crazy damage to trees, do you think they will give them a buff for Sylph? Great question. Uh, it's actually a really good question, and I think it is uh, a matter of the meta. I think Sylph is really, really strong. Um, I do. I, I think Sylph is uh, it is a really good race. I think that as long as Dwarf is the most commonly played, then Sylph is going to be like far down. Uh, I think for Sylph to come back. Um, and I think that they can come back very strong. For Sylph to come back, there's going to have to be more people that are not Dwarf. So if there's more people playing as Lich, or more people playing, um, or playing, playing as, uh, as human, then there's going to be more Sylph players. But as, as long as the, uh, the Dwarf is like the super common one, then I think Sylph's at, at, uh, at a disadvantage. Oh, so this guy asked, when's the next live stream with, with Tane? He hasn't been on for one in like two weeks. He was on one, uh, he was on one last Friday and Monday. He, he was on one less than a week ago. Not last live stream, but the one on Monday and also the, the one on uh, Friday. Sky, you gotta tune into the live streams. Tane, Tane's always around. Uh, he, he's an awesome, awesome dude. 
Yeah, he, he was talking in uh, the live stream on Monday when, when maintenance was going on and also on uh, Friday when, when we did uh, the mines. I think it was Friday, but he, on Monday, which was like five days ago, he, he was on. Or six days ago. Tank, Tank's awesome. He, he's always welcome here, but if he's got, uh, if, if he has um, stuff to do in life, then he'd, he'd go do life. All right, so we're gonna jump in, and it looks like uh, it looks like we should be able to start off with uh, Raxius. No, wow, all these people moving the, their stuff to mess mess uh, with, with the the Raxius. All right, well, I, I guess that uh, we're just going to have to supplement it in other ways. So we did go in with with our Rufio. Hopefully, uh, our Raxius is up now. So we're going to put down a couple of little stuns. We're gonna do another little stun. And finally, we got one more little stun that we can do, uh, so we are going to do that. And uh, next, we are going to try to... Oh my gosh, everything is just so hard to click. Alright, so they were able to take down our dragon. Their dragon's moving up. We have to kill their dragon. Kill their dragon. Shoot it. Do stuff. Oh, okay, cool. We actually were, were able to take down their dragon. Perfect. Uh, and... Can we get our bat? Oh no, our Badger died before we could do that. So their Nora with their uh, snipers were able to take us down. I gotta work on my start. Like if I can't do Raxus, I need to just instantly go into something else instead of the uh, instead of having that awkward delay. That awkward delay is costing me fights. Good job to to Kermit. Um, did did a fantastic job. I think uh, I think we'll have to um, see if, if we can find uh, stronger players, like six million core power players. We're doing better going up against them. Uh, so Chaney has a grinny face with a wow. Yeah, Ker Kermit's good. I, I I think with the opening, I'm so ingrained with the Raxius that if I can't if I can't instantly start with like my go-to, then I run into issues. As, uh, as Toby w would say, you have to be prepared to go into your, your backup plan. Um, and I think I'm out of practice with that because for so long I've been able to just get away with my, my opening start. So I think I need to practice with uh, having that secondary starting option uh, as far as skills. So I think that's going to look like uh, Earthquake for us. Uh, so if we can't do the Raxius, then I think we're just going to try and go straight into the Earthquake. Um, I think that, that that would be super super beneficial for us uh, and especially to practice with <laughs> Alright, so we actually have a self that we're going up against so uh, WKD um, I, I have a feeling I'm probably just going to uh, lose to this self player so I, I bet you this this dude will be doing something to just totally catch us off guard all right, got everything all set up. All right, so it looks like their top side is their power side. Oh yeah, that top side is definitely their their power side. If we can get this guy going, oh yeah, oh yeah, we we can do it. All right, so far so good for for the uh, the the starter for up there. I am totally happy with uh, where, where we're at. Uh, we're gonna jump in with our Rufio, hopefully slow down like their Nora and everything, keep their dragon kind of held back. They are in with with, uh, with, with their, their Rufio. Uh, we can't quite reach up there, so we're gonna try and duplicate some of the snipers down here. Uh, and if I can actually swing our Rufio, I'd actually be pre pretty happy with that. All right, uh, so their their Jax is actually doing pretty good as far as like like their damage coming out. They took down our, our um, they, they were able to take down our uh, our uh, Ophidius, which is not good. We're going to drop a nice deep bat split as soon as he comes off cooldown. There we go. So our bat split should hopefully take out some some of their their troops in, in the back. Um, our dragon's doing fine with, with the, the tanky portion. They dropped another bat splits, which is just mostly going to be um, uh, an annoyance above anything else. We drop another one of our bat splits. 
and so far so so good I, I i don't necessarily think that they uh i think most of their their damage stuff is is, is gone um both dragons do the protection proc looks like we still have one pack of our um we still have one pack of our snipers still up so that's good uh we're going to do the energy repair thing uh both dragons are still going strong uh, we still have our Nora, so that 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 will help us out a lot long term, hopefully. Um, so this one might might just come down to everything being stalled out. I mean, our, our dragon is going down a little bit, but I I really don't think that it's it's like a, enough for us to really like wor worry about. Uh, we don't have any skills to just necessarily do. Um, oh, actually, let's 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 try and kill their their Fenris. Because their Fenris is just going to run around this back line and just kill off all of our stuff. So if we can take down the, their their Fenris, that that might actually help us out quite a bit. Uh, and now their dragon's moving up. All right, so their their Fenris is almost down. And oh, hey, hey, Amy, th thank you. Jeez, th 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 thank you very much. Uh, I, I I appreciate that. Um, so I, I think that this is just going to turn into a giant salt. They they did really good at taking down um our our snipers, and they kind of like defanged us. If if that makes sense, they they made it so that we couldn't do a bunch of damage. Uh, if our snipers, if, if we were able to protect our snipers better, I think we, we would have uh, done better overall. Uh, but we were not able to keep our snipers up. So because of that, it just turns into a giant stall fest. If you take out their their primary damage heroes, um, then Sylph really, really can't do anything. Uh, so WKD said, see how fast trees are falling? That's exactly the problem I'm facing against snipers. The, the trees are too good against anything but snipers. Yeah, and, and that, that's the trade-off with, with Sylph. Your trees are going to do amazing versus anything but snipers. So snipers are a counter to trees, and trees are a counter to pretty much everything else. So they, they, can't, they can't be the best of everything, if that makes sense. Yeah, and this guy did survive going up against the, the, the snipers. Um, he, he focused on crowd control and then uh, killing off the snipers. Plus, I have a feeling this guy's trees, they're 8.8 .8 million health. I, I don't know what, what your trees are like. And if you look at their uh, physical resistance and magic resistance, they're both above 100. Uh, I think my head's covering it. Actually, I, you know what, what's easier than, than doing that? I can just remove myself for a second. So you can see the, uh, the stats for this guy's trees. They're pretty absolutely ridiculous. And then thank you again to to Amy. Uh, you were the 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 VIP. Um, geez, can I, can I do the hard thing? I, yeah, I, I can't do the hard thing. I can do it this way. Uh, I'll have to practice that. Yes, Sylph is really good. The the problem is Dwarf should be able to beat Sylph, and there's so many Dwarf players out there right now that. It's kind of it kind of puts Sylph at such uh, a disadvantage and on the back line so heavily that uh, Sylph just isn't going to be super popular. Again, once humans take off again and the cluster bases make a big comeback, uh, so that looks like your I, I don't know about Rockin', but definitely your humans and in your Lich. As there's more and more human and Lich players, you'll see more and more of uh, of the Sylph coming back. Uh, so we're going up against Kraken. Uh, Kraken is a super good player. Do not let the core power dece deceive you. Um, I think right now I, I get like a 50% chance of winning going up against him. And I have no excuses because we have the uh, protection thing uh, from the dragon and we also have the true ruby. Alright, so let's try this out. I have a feeling he might be able to get us. Wow, so WKD does have really strong trees. So the, the snipers are just a counter to the tree. 
uh, like you said, versus anything else, they're super strong. So if uh, if they're super strong versus an anything else, then that that means that uh, they are really good and they're really strong. It's just versus snipers. Uh, let's see here. All right, so we we got three sets. They won in might, and they're going with a ruby dragon. They have a perfect ru ruby dragon, by the way. Oh, whoops! I, I clicked way way too fast. Uh, so let's see here. We can now jump jump in super deep with our Rufio. We still have another nice nice little sun thing. And I think that will will be okay. I, I think we, we got enough enough suns right right at the start, um, and we should be able to get them. They had a couple uh, a, a couple moral boost procs that that came out. Um, now th they are doing some some really really good damage to our, our dragon. Uh, we're going to focus on trying to take down their dragon, uh, just because if we ignore the the dragon, then they still have a, a really good chance. Um, now, now he's laughing at us. We gotta dab it up. All right, so they they did, they did a good job. I, I think we we had a really good opening going going up against them. Um, and the ruby dragon is really strong, so we can check afterwards at the ruby dragon damage. Uh, so, pardon me while this fight just finishes up. Allergy stuff. Give me one sec. So, sorry about that. So we are back. Um, let's go check out their, their stuff because Kraken is a super good player. Uh, and I think... So their dragon did 11 mil million damage. Um, I think if we look at everything, they, they, they have good good Dragonic. So they have all three at least at 109. They have the be Blessed Configuration, uh, the Scales, uh, Blessing Swell, Rampage, Pulse, Cosmic Storms, Hero Bread. So this dragon is unreal, and I bet you after the uh, new uh, buff to the Ruby Dragon, it could be insane. Uh, so Carnivore said, what's the calculation for unit damage? I mean, uh, the tree had 5.5 mil attack, but isn't dealing any damage at all. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I wish Lilith would release some of the formulas to us um, so that we could actually have a better understanding of the game uh, and how everything works. But that 5.5 million attack is also over the course of 20 seconds. All of the stuff is very, very misleading. Uh, so Sky said that Jerry's here. Welcome, Jerry. Oh my God, there's Jerry. I see him now. Uh, Jerry put out a bunch of emojis. Justin said, what's the best Dragonic tree do I need to get maxed first for an Azul Dragon? Um, if you have Noble Blood and everything, then uh, it, it's a toss-up between Protection and uh, Affliction. I still think Affliction is probably going to be the best for all. Um, and the reason for that is the Undying Army portion of 109 for the Affliction is so strong. Um, it's, it's just, it's ridiculously strong. So I, I still think Affliction is, is the way to go, uh, for it, it, every dragon, for your first one. Uh, and which is the second? Second is Protection. So go Affliction, then, then Protection for, for an Azul. This guy said, I don't have, uh, Bazrix. I, I got him, uh, my second roll for Lucky Wheel. Oh my god, you need to get Bazrix then. And Verma said, I just got promoted to Quartz League in Dual Tower. Congratulations to, to Verma. Good job. Keep going with um keep going with, with the tower. You'll you'll you're gonna be like a super grandmaster soon. I have faith in you. Oh god. Oh god, this this is gonna hurt. They have a ton of monks. Alright, so we got one son, two sons. We're going to drop uh and attack speed boost thing to our stuff. Uh, so hopefully we can just do stuff to them. Uh, we're jumping in. Uh, hopefully just crush all of their arches in that top portion. 
Uh, if, if we can just take out all of their archers, we'll be in good shape. They did a targeting on our dragon. Uh, not not super cool, man. And I don't know where... Oh, I see their, their Ophidius. Uh, so we lost our Badrix, which is not good. Um, we still have our dragon up, which is good. Uh, our dragon is starting to get low. We did do the protection proc. Um, we have the origin stone on down on the dragon. The dragon is taking a ton of damage though. Uh, we got to keep our dragon alive. If we can keep our dragon up, uh, then we should be uh, fine go going up against this person. Uh, we're going to duplicate some more snipers because when in doubt, just have more snipers. And it looks like our mechs were able to hold off going up against the uh, the monks uh, pretty well. Um, yeah, I'm actually super impressed with, with my mechs being able to absorb the monk damage. Strange one said that they're always afraid of uh, dual tower. I should have been in the I should have been in the quartz league. With the dual tower, some of it is the time of day in which you go to the tower. Um, a lot of it's just the luck of who you get matched up against. So some of it is the timing of, of it of, of the dual tower. Like if I go on at midnight, like before I go to bed tonight, um, or for for late at night. I, I feel like uh, because of the time zones, there's going to be a lot more Chinese whales on and I'm just going to get destroyed. If I go on in the afternoon, then I'll usually perform a, a little bit better. So Skydog said that they have to go in 10 to 15 minutes. So uh, you know what we'll have to do, man? We might have to do one more thing before you go. Oh, geez. So we only want a mic going up against this guy. That is not good. All right, so uh, we need to um, do our best to slow down this, this enemy. They, so they, they were able to put down a nice little earthquake on us. We're going to exchange the favor and put down a nice little earthquake on them. Uh, and so far, so good. I mean, it, it's, it's not horrible. Uh, there are things that I, I, I wish we could do a little bit better. Uh, where is their Ophidius? Okay, so their, their Ophidius is way on this other side. Ooh, we, we could not get that, that going. Alright, so we're going to drop that down. Hopefully get that near their Ophidius. They have a bunch of uh, good damage coming out. Their top portion of mechs were unable to actually take down. So I think because we're caught up up top against that pack of mechs, we're really struggling to, to get through. And they have the bad split, so this this is pre pretty much all, all over. Um, unfortunately, we got hung up. They had like that one little portion in that top area, and we couldn't get it. So Chan wants to take a screenshot of, of the heart. Oh god, I, I don't know if I can do it perfect. Has, has that chanting? What? All right, there we go. There we go. <laughs> That, that, that's my heart. All right. Well, hopefully you got it, Chan. Um, this guy said, OGC, what what do you think of Vega, Heal, Noble Blood, Dire Mana Worm combo as Sylph since it gives an insane amount of health to trees plus Dire Mana Worm heals every five seconds for seven random allies? I think you're better off trying to win your power side. If, if you're talking about going up against Dwarf, if you're going up against Dwarf, it does not matter too much for the heal. The snipers are going to kill your trees regardless. Uh, especially at the beginning. If the fight drags on, then uh, you, you might be able to do better. Yeah, I, I can't do it. Um, if the fight drags on, you're going to do better and better going up against Dwarf at, as a Sylph player. But especially at, at the beginning, it's going to be way, way too hard to... Uh, the heals just won't offer too much for you. Uh, and we have another VIP code. I wanted to get this out before Sky left. Um, this is a VIP code. This one's also from Basic. So thank you very much to uh, Basic. Um, I, you are you are amazing, Basic. Uh, so this VIP code. VIP codes can only be redeemed once by one person. If you have redeemed the VIP code on your account, you cannot redeem a second VIP code. This is to ensure that the mega super whales that spend millions of dollars per week cannot steal this code from our precious free to play players. Um, so if you guys are not VIP uh, or you uh, have not used the VIP code, go try and get that code. Um, it can only be redeemed by one person. So have fast fingers, go do all that crazy stuff. Uh, if you get it, please let me know in the chat. I always get super excited when 
I, I see people get get the code and get all excited over everything because um, you know why not? It's three hundred Lunari, you get a bunch of potions, you get all that good stuff. So uh, big shout out to Basic, super thankful to to Basic for helping us out. Also, uh, uh, Amia for for the donation. You are you are amazing. Thank you. Um, so if you got this, let me know in the chat. That way I can be super happy for you. Uh, anyways, let's hop back into Dual Tower. I want to do a, uh, I want to get a couple more wins before, uh, oh, Jesus, 6 million core power rocking. Let's see how this person does. Um, last time we went up against the, uh, some dude in the 5 millions area, as far as rocking. In our mechs, we're able to hold on going up against their, uh, uh, monks. So it's mechs versus monks, and we are able to hold on pr pretty well. So hopefully, um... Hopefully we're, we're able to do the same. This guy's got us beat by over 400k core power. So Chani says uh, thank you. If Chani says thank you, that, that that's, a, that's a big thing. Um, so the enemy beat us in magic and they are also uh, rocking. So, okay. All right, so check this out guys. We cannot, uh, we, oh, we, we, I was gonna say, we cannot open up with our Raxius, but it looks like we could have. I'm so confused. Alright, so we are going to, uh, as soon as we can do our Raxius, we're going to start our Raxius stuff. Alright, so we we got our Raxius doing his stuff. Our Denji is now in super deep. So we should be able to collapse this one side. Uh, now, they are in really deep for this other. Maybe my temporary repair was uh, way, too, uh, way, way too late. Uh... Luckily for us, we are starting to swing, swing around, which, which is huge. Um, I did not mean to click that. Uh, that was weird. So many of my things just dropped. So, Rockin, if they are super strong, can go right through your your mechs. Um, that's a really good... Uh... Oh, David Z got the VIP code. David Z, I'm super happy for you, man. Good job, David Z. Um... I've seen you post a bunch of stuff, so I, I'm happy that you got the VIP code. Uh, let's go. Th 300 Lenari, that's like, that's almost two more rolls in the lucky wheel. If you did not get the Bazrix set, then uh, you're you're going to get it with with that Lenari. I have good good faith in it. And Sky, Sky needs to get the Bazrix skin. I, I'm sorry, the Bazrix hero. He got the Bazrix skin off the lucky wheel, but he needs to be able to get the actual, um, the, the actual hero so he can use the skin. Oh, Chan. Chan. <laughs> oh my god. I'll be honest with you guys. I look forward to, every week to just ha hang out with you all. Um, I have a lot of fun. I, I like just chatting with you guys and, and hanging out. So, um, yeah, it, it's, it's pretty nice. Alright, I think we're, we're going to go with this one. Uh... We might have a wee bit better luck. I think this is the guy that we went up against before, but we, we need to, uh, this time, he took out our snipers last time and it ended up being a stall fight. So this time, uh, I want to make sure that we, that that doesn't happen again. All right, so, I, I really, really want to make sure that we, we can, uh, control everything so that he cannot take out all of our snipers if we can hold on to our snipers then we should be able to win this there okay cool their um their nora is super low so we might actually be able to take out their nora their ophidius is also dropping qu quite a bit uh so that that's another huge thing um we're gonna get another stun proc out there because again we we want to be able to collapse this dude's top side uh without uh losing too much of our stuff uh, so our dragon is getting low. Uh, they will have the proc for um, Bazrix coming up in about two seconds. We should have ours as well. Then Nora is hanging on pre pretty well. Uh, all right, so we're gonna drop our Bazrix. Hopefully that, that that's enough to um, take them down. They still have their Bazrix up, which is really unfortunate because they're going to do a bunch of damage to our uh, snipers. All right, we and we have one more. Um, there's probably a little bit of, of, of a waste of one. Uh, but we took down their Bazrix. Okay, cool. We got their Bazrix this time. Now we just need to finish off their dragon. 
So last time that we went up against this guy, we lost all of our snipers and it, it was a stall. So I think we should be much better off this time because we can actually, we have, um, okay, it's it's just over one one full pack of, uh, of, of uh, archers. Archers, we're playing dwarf. We have over one full pack of the snipers, plus we got the troop reflector on, so our snipers should now be able to just mow down all of these, um, all of these beautiful, beautiful trees. They put a targeting onto the dragon, uh, so I think that they're 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 just casting stuff. Uh, I, I think that they they see that um, it's it's going to be a very, very very tough fight. So I don't think that they can come back at this point. Uh, so we went from fighting the, the this self player. I think they got us beat by like 300k core. It's, it's really not that much. Um, we went from going up against this guy and getting stalled out to, to now uh, protecting our snipers better and getting that reflect off. We're now able to beat this guy. So WKD, who was talking about the struggles of self earlier, yes, trees are great versus any race, but like everything, they have a counter, and trees' uh, counter is snipers. Snipers don't shoot bullets, they shoot axes. And, oh, Toby's here! Hello, Toby. We'll, we'll do a dab for Toby um, with our Virian. I hope you're doing well today, Toby. Oh, so David Z said that he got the uh, code, but it, uh, he was just trolling us with it all. Oh, jeez, David Z, I really wanted you to, to get the uh, get the code. And... Let's see here. Ba, ba, ba. All right, looks like we're going up against a Lich player. Oh my gosh, so Raven said that he beat the player today 900k core above them, and they accidentally did the crying emoji when they meant to give the thumbs up. Aww. So Jerry asked about Sylph being a good race overall. Honestly, I think Sylph struggles in the void. Uh, so I, I think if you're if you're talking about all aspects of the game, they definitely struggle in the void quite a bit. Um, and for PvP, they are definitely as long as Dwarf is uh, a very common race, I think Sylph will be down. If things change in Lich and in humans become more popular, I think we'll we'll see more and more of the actual. Um, self coming back. Alright, so we're going to try this formation going up against this, uh, this, uh, Lich player. We've used it a couple times earlier. We were able to get that guy that is almost 7 million core. It just offers us some more snipers. Um, alright, so we got this guy in three stats. They got magic, which is the most important for them. Uh, okay, so we're going up against their stall side. All right, so uh, we're going to have to do the best that we can going up against their soul side. They're starting off with the Raxius. They're getting a lot of stun sound onto our actual snipers. Um, our Nora is actually doing fantastic, uh, which I will gladly take that. I want to kill this uh, this pack of uh, Warlocks so that they don't mess with our dragon when they eventually put down the targeting. Uh, so we just need to really blast through this top portion. And... I don't necessarily see their Ophidius super clearly. Uh, okay, I see their Ophidius now. Uh, so, I think uh, we gotta get our temporary repair going. That way, our we don't want to lose the mechs in this bottom portion. Uh, we got two seconds for, for Bazrix. Uh, if we can get the Bazrix, he might be caught up by the, uh, the Vengeance portion. And now we are able to get him. So their sniper, I mean, uh, their their dragon is moving up quite a bit. Looks, looks like we're, we're doing okay o overall. Uh, we, we do need to start killing off all of these warlocks in the top portion. They are hitting up our dragon pretty good. Uh, their Ophidius is actually still up doing, doing pretty good too. Uh, I think... Maybe we should have done the temporary repair earlier. Because the, their dragon was, they were able to get some pull in that middle area. So maybe if we did the temporary repair a little bit earlier, um, 
those two packs of skeletons on our power side going up against us, or three total plus one pack of warlocks, that's really good at stalling this all out. So anyways, this guy did a fantastic job. I I, uh, I don't feel su super bad. Uh, this guy's a pretty good player. Uh, Victor said, is, uh, is Dwarf the best race? I think... Uh, I think Dwarf has a lot of benefits, just like all the races have uh, really good be benefits. Um, I, and I think all races have their, uh, they all have their different strengths. So for, for example, one of the big strengths of Dwarf is you only have to focus on sh two troop types. You just need to focus on mechs and snipers. And because of that, you're able to get a high concentration of all of your power into only two troop types. Versus something like human, where you might need more than two troop types, or even lich. There's a good chance that lich might include some scorpions, so it's going to really diversify them. Dwarf doesn't have much diversity, and because uh, dwarf doesn't have much d diversity, you're really able to hyper focus on a couple specific things. And regardless of what what race you play, if you're able to hyper focus, uh, you're going to do really well. Uh, just like for for Sylph, so if you include Huntresses in Sylph, then uh, you have Huntresses in Trees. If you have Mana Worms or you have Archers, all of a sudden that's so many different types of uh, troops that you're, you're going to have to uh, do stuff for. Oh. Uh, so, our Raxia somehow got stunned up, which is super annoying. Um, so we are very slow with, with our opening. Which is which is really really unfortunate for us, uh, but hopefully we, we can get some some uh, some control down on this top portion, and uh, hopefully we can just blast right right on through. Uh, so we're gonna drop another one down there, and all right, cool. So they just did a targeting, and they targeted our, I believe they targeted our Raxius. Who also has a two-star Solantris. Uh, so I, I don't know if this this dude misclicked or, or something, but um, they, they they did some interesting stuff. So we're gonna drop our Baz Baz Bad Splits down on them. Uh, hopefully take out as many of the uh, as as many of the uh, warlocks as, as we possibly can. Uh, I did not mean to do uh, Belrog. The skills just shifted over, and I went to hit the dumpling, and it came out to be the. Uh, it came out to be the wrong thing. So we are taking uh, quite a bit of damage on, on this bomb side. Uh, and it looks like... Alright, so we were able to take out the, their, their Ophidius, which is huge. Uh, now we're, we're trying to tag their dragon. Um, but both, both dragons did, did their protection. Uh, so we, we're looking pretty good on this bottom portion. Um, so we should be able to just swing around and get this guy. Uh, so their, their dragon has dropped, um, and now it's just a, a matter of time for us to take out everything, and we will be in very good shape. Um, so we're, we're gonna speed up the, the mechs, and hopefully we're able to, to get this guy. Uh, we have one minute to clear everything out, um, and it looks like we have, uh, realistically like one one pack of um we have like one one full pack of uh snipers we still have our nora who's got some ammo so the lightning procs will, will be pretty nice and um yeah we're gonna get a targeting nice and deep on them uh that way hopefully our dragon moves down if the targeting works there we go so we want our dragon to run super deep and uh, do well. I'm sorry that the notifications for, for the video di did not work, uh, but I'm glad everyone kind of found their way here. So Sky can stay longer than, than they thought that they could, uh, so that's awesome. And Victor said, thanks OGC, I weak, uh, I weak core power, I want to know how to raise attack and health of all heroes. Uh, so you can do that through uh, prisms and temple along with leveling your heroes up uh, in hero research. So you have your temple, which uh, depending on the, the rune stones, you can actually increase your uh, hero power. Uh, prisms will definitely give a good boost to your heroes uh, and different shards can if that's what you wanna do. Uh, hero research will make your heroes stronger. Um, all of that type of stuff really helps out.
So I think what we're going to do is we're going to do one more fight. This is going to be the last fight of the day, guys. Uh, so hopefully hopefully you guys have had fun. Um, we're going to go in. We're going to see one more uh, crazy fight in the dual tower. Hopefully we get a, uh, a, fun, a fun opponent, uh, somebody that is, uh, is, is a good player, not like Mega Whale. Uh, maybe we'll get Chan again. Who knows? Oh, we got Kraken again. Okay, so... Uh, we're probably gonna lose now. We we got him last time. He's probably going to make the adjustments that he needs to make, and then he's going to win this time. This guy is a really insanely good player. And as I said, our our winning record with him, like for current present day, is like fifty percent. If we go back like a couple months, he got me like a hundred percent of the time. So my bet, if I was a betting person, he's going to get us this time. We're going to go with the same formation. So. Um, so he should be able to uh, figure out what what to do to get us. I am gonna pull everything for it. So hopefully, if he is stream uh, sniping, uh, he probably already got all the information, anyways. Uh, Sky said, uh, "Oh, I already read that one." So this is our last fight of the day. Kraken is going to beat OGC in his redemption match. Um, so I hope you guys have had fun. If you guys are in America, or if you guys can tolerate America a little bit, today is our Independence Day. So congratulations to America for becoming a country. Um, I love it. All right, so here we go. And it looks like he's keeping his uh, his his power side on the, the top. Um, where his Rufia is located, I think we, we might actually be able to do the Raxus. Yeah, we are. That, that's perfect. So we did Raxus number one. Uh, now our Raxus is all stunned up. So we can do Raxus number two. And we're going to drop down our uh, attack speed thing a little bit further back. We're now jumping in with our Rufio. So hopefully we can stun up all of his stuff uh, nice and well. Our dragon is charging fours like a crazy, crazy dragon. Um, and their dragon is dropping a little bit lower. We're going to spin our Rufio, but our Rufio died. Uh, so that spin didn't, didn't really go super well. We are moving up uh, pre pretty fast. Our Gan is, is all stunned up, um, so that is not, not good for us. Uh, we get the uh, we get the spinning from, from the Denji. Um, his dragon is still up, uh, which is terrifying to me. Uh, so we, we need to take out his dragon. Okay, so his dragon is down. Uh, I feel like we are a lot safer. So this is our, our last fight of, uh, of Dual Tower um, and for, for, for the live stream. So uh, I, I hope that you, you guys enjoyed uh, just kind of hanging out on this beautiful Independence Day. Um, if you guys have not uh, subscribed to the channel, please uh, please consider subscribing to the channel. We're going to be redoing all of our Hero Spotlights and making them updated for 2020 so that there is a bunch more information. Um, uh, Somebody asked about the tactics schools in 4-13 uh, as a level 19 dwarf. You might have to level up a little bit further to get it. Um, okay, so Sky, uh, as you progress up in the game, your heroes are getting stronger and stronger. And Jerry said, I have all my troops to level 4. Should I transmute to make my snipers to level 6? Uh, I would. That's what I did. I'm biased. But only do it if the equipment's not not good. If if you have all level four equipment across the board and some of that equipment's really good, don't don't do it. Don't do it. But I think having six star snipers is more beneficial than anything else for dwarf, just because you get much higher percent chance for headshot. Uh, so with that, guys, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. It was awesome to hang out with all of you. Um, yeah, thank you, thank you guys for everything, uh, and I will see you guys soon tomorrow. We have Clash of Fate. Let's go, Blood Moon. We need to win this one. If we don't win this one, we are eliminated from the championships, and OGC will probably cry because uh, it would be the first time we did not get out of the group stages. Uh, so I look forward to talking to you guys soon. Uh, take care. You guys are all.